Welcome to www.happynumbers.org. Today's lesson is the second half, part two of evaluating algebraic expressions, part two. And now we're going to work with a little more involved types of expressions. So we're going to have an expression like this, x times the quantity, I'm sorry, <laughs> my bad, 4 times the quantity of x minus y and they tell us that x equals 6, y equals 3. Well, we work this exactly the same. We substitute the numbers for the variables here. So we have 4 times the quantity of x, which is 6 minus 3. And now we know, according to our order of operations, we have to do parentheses first. So we have 4 times well, 6 minus 3 is 3, and then 4 times 3 is 12. So the skill set is still easy. We just substitute our numbers for the variables and then solve. Let's take a look at a little one that's a little more involved. Let's try this one. 2 times the quantity x minus y to the second power, or squared, minus 4 times x. And they tell us x equals 3, y equals negative 2. All right, so first thing we do is substitute. 2 times the quantity x, x is 4, minus y, oh, my bad, y is, uh, x is 3, my real bad, 3 minus y, which is negative 2, squared, minus 4 times x, which is 3. Well, okay, so we have to do parentheses first, please, remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So parentheses first. So 2 times. Now, I have 3 minus a negative 2. Now when we're <laughs> subtracting sign numbers, if you remember, we add the opposite. So we make it an addition problem and this becomes positive. So we have 3 plus 2, which is 5 squared. If this is confusing to you, uh, the subtraction, you will need to go back to the integers, subtraction of integers video to see that. Okay, so we have done the parentheses, and now we have minus 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, now we do the exponent. 5 times 5 is 25, so we have 2 times 25 minus 12. Okay. 2 times 25 is 50, minus 12 should give us 38. Okay, again, we just started here, and all we did was substitute our values for x and y, and then using our order of operations, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, using our order of operations, we solved the expression. Well, I'll put a couple of problems up for you, let you warp them. Okay, how about this? 3 times the quantity x plus 7, and x equals 2. That's the first one. I'll draw a line here. Second one, negative 4 times the quantity y minus 5 and y equals 3. We'll put your video or DVD on pause, work those problems and then turn it back on and then we'll work them together. Okay, <clears throat> first thing we have to do is substitute. 3 times the quantity of x, well x is 2, 2 plus 7. Then we have to do the, inside the parentheses, so it's 3 times 
2 plus 7 is 9. 3 times 9, 27. Simple. Okay, here, we substitute negative 4 times the quantity 3 minus 5. Okay, now we have to do the parentheses. Now, <clears throat> we are subtracting, okay, integers. So what we have to do is add the opposite. So this becomes negative 5. The problem becomes addition. And we have 3 plus negative 5, which gives us negative 2. So now we have negative 4 times negative 2. If I have a negative and a negative, if I'm multiplying, I know that's a positive. So I know my answer is going to be positive, and 4 times 2 is 8. Good. Okay, I'll put a couple more up for you. Again, if that subtraction of the integers, uh, turning a subtraction problem into adding the opposite, uh, confuses you a little, please go back and look at the video subtracting integers because it's an important concept. Of course, you can go back and look at any of the videos you'd like at any time. All right, negative 7 times the quantity a minus b, and they're telling us that a equals 2, b equals 3. Go ahead and solve that one. And I'll, oh, well, let me put one more up for you. Well, though, go ahead and solve that one, and then I'll put another one up for you. So put the DVD on pause. All right. First thing we have to do is substitute. Negative 7 times the quantity 2 minus 3. Okay, now we have to do inside the parentheses. So we have negative 7. Now, <clears throat> we have subtraction of integers, which means we add the opposite. So the positive 3 becomes a negative 3, and this becomes an addition problem. So 2 plus a negative 3 is a negative 1. And now I do the multiplication, negative 7 times negative 1. Negative and negative I know is positive, so my answer is simply 7. Okay, now for the gorilla problem, the big gorilla problem for you here. Let's try this. 2x squared, or x to the second power, minus 5x and they tell us that x is equal to negative 2. Go ahead and put the DVD on pause, work that problem, and then turn it on and we'll look at it together. All right. Well, first we start by substituting. So we have 2 times negative 2 to the second power, or squared, minus 5 times negative 2. I just substituted negative 2 for x. Okay, <clears throat> well, first let's do this. We have to do the exponent. So 2 times negative 2 squared would be negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4 minus 5 times negative 2 gives me negative 10. Now I do the multiplication here. 2 times 4 is 8 minus a negative 10. Now if you remember, if we're subtracting integers, we add the opposite. So this becomes an addition problem and this becomes positive 10. And now we have 8 plus 10 18. Okay. Well, one more problem we're going to work. And I apologize because I can see my watch. We're going to go over the 10 minutes, but just one more problem. 3 times the quantity y minus 4. Whoops. y minus 4 
squared divided by 2 times the quantity y minus 1. And they tell us that y is equal to 6. Okay. <coughs> So the division line really separates the problem into two parts, through the top part, then the division line, and the bottom part. Go ahead and try working that and then turn it back on. All right, let's take a look. Let's substitute 3 times the quantity y is 6 minus 4 squared divided by 2 times the quantity y is 6 minus 1. Okay, let's do the parentheses part first. 3 times 6 minus 4 is 2. And 2 times 6 minus 1 is 5. Now we do our exponent. 3 times 2 to the second power is 2 times 2, which is 4, divided by 2 times 5 is 10. Now we can do our multiplication. 3 times 4 is 12 tenths, which is an improper fraction, which is 1 and 2 tenths. And then we have to reduce 2 tenths. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 10 five, so we get 1 and 1 fifth. Okay, well that's it. That's evaluating algebraic expressions. It's simply a matter of substituting the number that is given to us into the expression and then solving it. Thank you very much. I apologize for going over a little bit.